When you're a cop, there's nothing new to learn about when it comes to death. There's no new novelty to it, no new insight to ponder over, to think about. I guess we all know there's a lot of things out there that get us. End it. Ring up that final roll call. Since I've been a cop on the force for these past 22 years, I can't count the times I've stood here and done this. But I remember every one. Like it was my son's first communion. And it stinks. And I think it's a freaking tragedy that he didn't at least have the honor of going in the field like a man, like a good cop, but that some drunk behind the wheel ripped us off, smashed him out of our lives. Yeah, I know Chico wouldn't have wanted us to get all angry over it. He, he would have rapped to us. About the balance of the cosmos and some nonsense about karma. And then moved on. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move on. But there's no one here that will ever forget him. No one. Wow. I've never seen you in the uniform before. You look, uh, different. <laughs> How you doing? Better. It's hard, but I'm doing better. Yeah. So you got orders from Briotti, too, huh? Yeah, end of last week. You know what's up? I don't know, Hanson, but... I really hope it's an improvement, because for the last month, I've been standing on a street corner in a see-through blouse and black stockings. Had you work in Vice, huh? Yep. <laughs> and you? Headquarters. 
Sitting behind a desk typing out requisition forms. Ain't no sympathy for me, Hanson. I must have wrote about 4,000 parking tickets since the program got shut down. Panama. Aoki, did you put those trash cans in my spot? Well, it's good to see you mellowed out there, Doug. Well, that's what happens when you risk your life in the field, man. Heard you was working traffic. Wow. HQ, what a walk in the park. <laughs> Me? Motorcycle division. Secure it, Penhall. Can we get started here? Yeah, what's up, Captain? Why all the mystery? Look, I know when Captain Jigger was killed, I told you guys that the Jump Street program was going to be dismantled. It was Jinko's idea from the beginning, and I think we all agreed that without him, they wouldn't be as effective. That's uh, right, and it won't be. And the best thing for everyone would be to mainstream back into the department as regular rookie officers. But? But the mayor has reviewed the program, and, well, he likes it, finally. Thinks it helps the image of police officers as concerned public servants. Must be an election year. Continuing with it might be a political consideration, yes. But either way, he's behind Jump Street now. Look, you guys are good cops. And we all know that Jinko's idea helped a lot of kids. That's because Jinko was one of a kind. Yeah, he was. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't continue the program. Come on, now. Come on what, Hanson? Look, without Jinko, this thing's gonna be nothing but Charlie's Angels. You wanna give me a break, Hanson? Or do you want to get back to that desk at headquarters? What I want is for the mayor to realize he can't just plug some new guy into a program like this. I mean, who's gonna run it, you? I don't have the wardrobe. Adam Fuller. Guy's a captain. Transferred out of the 16th precinct. Before that, he was NYPD. Spent 11 years undercover. Yeah, probably gonna tell us that he was in Serpico's graduating class. <laughs> Look, you guys don't have to like this, but you signed on as professional police officers, and I expect you to act like it. Look, Captain, uh, with all due respect, but there's just no way anyone's ever going to take Janko's place. Oh, I have no intentions of taking Janko's place. Stick around. Good luck. I heard Jinko was a hell of a cop and that you guys loved him. But good cops move on to the next case. So if any of you guys playing on laying around here hanging crepe, there's the door. Now, I didn't know Jen Cohen. I'm sure he was a good guy. He was a great guy. Okay. But with all due respect, he was apparently as bad an administrator as he was an interior decorator. Hey, you want this place to look this way? Fine. It's your space. But that's my office now. It's open to you guys 24 hours a day. Knock first. Any other changes, sir? I'm not in uniform, Hall, so you don't have to call me sir. Are there going to be any other changes? Well, I do plan to take full advantage of Jump Street's potential, Hanson. So there may be a few. Relax, Hanson. So Fuller made a few changes. A few? I feel like my parents went away for the weekend and 300 kids showed up to have a party. Hey, hey, hey. Do you see us walking here? You did that too? 
Everybody did that. Here's another I2 form, Penn Hall. Try not to lose it this time, okay? It was supposed to be filed this morning. What are you, his personal uh, secretary uh, now? Hawk and Hanson. We're out. Hey, man, there's just one thing I want you to remember, okay? That guy in there is a human being, your boss, a captain, a superior officer, a professional policeman like yourself who can make our lives miserable if he gets teed off. I'm getting behavioral advice from you. Take it. Hey, 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 where'd you get that? I found it. Yeah, you found it. You found it. My desk is where you found it. You call my stuff again, Ace. I'm gonna twist your head off. Yeah? Yeah. I'm serious. I can tell. What planet did you drop in from, man? This is my house. I live here. Yeah, well, we're roommates now, Ace. Uh, now, Madigan's been with the municipal school district for three years. Last semester, he was promoted to principal over at Grand High. It's a very tough school. Madigan has a rep as a very tough guy. I guess the PTA figured it would work out. But it didn't. Apparently not. Someone's trying to kill him. Why? Hold on, Hanson. We'll get to that. Madigan's an anachronism. Still thinks that high school delinquents get their kicks from uh, sniffing glue and stealing hubcaps. Doesn't play ball with the truant board. He likes to dispense his own brand of discipline. You know, sends a kid to detention for two weeks for committing a class A felony in study hall. Someone wants to kill him over being sent to detention? Last week, he slapped around the president of the Fraser Boulevard Bloods in front of the whole school and then kicked him off campus. I guess he hadn't read the Supreme Court's ruling on corporal punishment, huh? Guess not. The kid's name is Reggie Brooks. Guys like him don't hang with being humiliated. They lose the rep, their gangs take a walk. We put out a warrant for Brooks uh, right after a pipe bomb blew off the hood of Madigan's car, but he disappeared. Reggie's a three-time loser as a juvie. Last week, he turned 18. So this will be the first time that he's been suspected of a felony as an adult. What about the bloods? Death threats, angry eyes from the gang members still in school. My bet is that they're just waiting for the word from Reggie to take that shot. The Bloods can't let Madigan get away with this. One thing these gangs are is proud. So are we going to be on this guy Madigan round the clock or just at school? Uh, just at school. He's already refused police protection. We even offered to put a couple of uniform men in the halls, but um, Madigan's a tough guy. Doesn't want to show that he's intimidated. It doesn't sound very bright. Yeah, well, it's his school, so go easy when you're inside. We don't want you guys to have a negative effect on the sanctity of the high school experience. He doesn't know we're going in. And if he finds out you're in there, he'll blow your cover just to keep you off campus. All right, that's the deal. Transcripts will be in place tomorrow. You guys will go in one at a time. Now, remember, you got to get close to Madigan and ID the gang members. How are we supposed to do that? You're undercover cops. You're supposed to have an imagination. But use your heads, because I'm sending you in armed. Hey. Jenko never sent us into a school arm. That was Jenko. And what I'm looking at here is a Frasier blood who wants to kill a principal. Yes? Captain yeah, Fuller, I don't want you to get the wrong idea or anything. I, uh... Okay, I won't. What? It's just I usually work with Penhall on an assignment like this. Ah. You guys dating? <laughs> okay, forget it. You're the boss, right? You made that very clear. I'm sorry I brought it up. No, no, no. You can bring it up. Look, it's just that from what I know about Reggie Brooks, he's got a thing for hot-looking ladies. And, um, I don't think he's gonna go for pinhole in a wig. And Hanson, I'm not a bad guy. Neither am I. Yeah, I know.
Mesdames et Messieurs, je vous présente Judy Parker de Riverside. Judy est une étudiante de notre école qui nous joint. Bienvenue. Et j'espère que tu en profiteras. Hey, anything's better than Riverside. That place was a drag. <laughs> je vois. According to your transcripts, you're a third-year language student. We always converse in French in class. Est-ce que ça va te poser un problème? Nope. Non. Whatever. N'importe quoi. Exactly. Maybe the Romance Language Department at Riverside isn't up to our standard. Second year French might be a little less intimidating for you. Je ne suis pas du tout intimidée, mademoiselle professeur. Ça vous dérange pas si je m'assois? Vous avez déjà gaspillé tellement de temps. Et je suis sûre que la classe préférait apprendre un peu de français au lieu de vous regarder frimer devant tout le monde. Qu'est-ce que tu en penses? I'm going to let that pass, Miss Parker. But we have a principal here at Grant who deals quite well with attitudes like yours. It's good to see an attitude like yours, Tom. Downright refreshing. Uh, yes, sir. You know, when my father was transferred in mid-semester, I was truly worried about uh, landing in a school without the proper academic uh, reputation. Not to mention a school with a computer facility equipped with mainframe access? Well, this is a transcript you and your father can be proud of. Well, thank you, sir. You know, uh, I am a bit concerned. I hear tell of a disciplinary problem in a portion of the student body. There's nothing that will interfere with your learning process, son. I guarantee it. I run things a little differently here at Grant. Excuse me, I'm gonna need a uh, hall pass to get to my first period. Excuse me, is uh, Mr. Madigan in? Yes, I just spoke to him. He's a swell guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a real swell guy. You can't go in there. I'm back. Hi, right, Reggie, don't shut up! You pushed around the wrong guy this time. Everybody move to the middle of the room. Let's go. I'm talking to you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, move! Come here. Listen up. Anybody tries anything, the boss is dead. You understand that? smile off your face. <laughs> now.
You going somewhere, Speedy? Huh? Come on. All right, you. Give me channel 11 on the telephone. Do it! I want to talk to him. OK, tell him they're going to mess with the Frasier bloods that get in deep. Tell him that we're the homeboys that get more than mad, we get even. You're going to go to jail for a long time over this, Brooks. Well, it looks like you're the one who's in jail right now, boss. Ain't that right? <laughs> oh. Ain't that right? <laughs> Him. Nerd hero, bro. Tried to break out on us. You must be new here, boy. Reggie Brooks. Nice to meet you. Is it? So how do you like it here, Greg? Well, I, I heard it was a tough school, but this is ridiculous. Ain't nothing ridiculous about getting punched around in front of your friends by some principal who don't know nothing. What are you gonna do? Ain't you gonna stick around long enough to find out? Am I? Maybe not. Kill him. No! No, no, no. <laughs> it's a joke. Check this new boy out. All right, man. Turn around. Police officer, freeze! No! Don't do it, man. Brawl his head off, I swear. Come on, nobody's been killed yet. That's right. Just put down your gun or there will be. I mean it, man. Why are you doing this? Put down your... Put it down. everyone to try and remain calm but we have a very serious situation here in Grant. Myself and other members of the faculty and student body have been taken hostage by the Fraser Boulevard blood. Hey! They are armed and I have been told if anyone tries to leave school they will kill me. You're very pretty aren't you? here at Grant High School and president of the Crazy Ralph. Ralph. Adam, got a real live entertainer here. Yeah, I read his jacket. This is Aoki and Penhall, undercover officers with Jump Street. This is Ralph Buckley, hostage negotiator. How does it look? Brooks is all over the place. He's been screaming on the phone every five minutes. Madigan's still alive? Yeah, but Reggie's been working him over pretty good. Where are they keeping him? We think the principal's office. They've chained every door in the place from the inside. All right, Stephen! We're gonna need blueprints of this building right away. We figure we're looking at four, maybe five other bloods. We're not sure. They're holding at least 200 students. What the heck does this guy want? I don't know. His own talk show, maybe? You got two undercovers in there also. They found one of them already. Toss that out the window. It's Hanson's number. Well, at least they haven't found out about Hoffs yet. Boom! <laughs> what I found! Hey, hey, hey. Hold up. <laughs> Not bad. How come I never met you? Because you were too busy getting punched out by the principal. I still would have heard. Oh, yeah? Well, I heard about it way over at Jefferson. I just transferred in. Hey, Reggie. Another new student, man. Come on, we better go check her out. No. I'll shake it down myself. Check out her bag. Let me know if you find something you like. No, she's fine. What's your name? Judy Parker. Bobby, check it out. See what we got here. Hey, 
Gee, this is impressive. Three-point average, president of the French club. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Got a deportment problem here. Ooh. Wising off to the gym teacher, shoplifting from the school store, smoking pot. Oh. Assaulting a fellow student. The girl was getting in my face. What do you want from me? <laughs> Don't ask. So I guess this means I'm a hostage now, huh? That's right. What are you going to ransom me out for? A new Corvette? Going to swap the principal here for a plane ride to Cuba? Maybe. Well, I might just have to stick around here, because this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> you sound like you're a player. I'm a player, too, now. Let's see if we like the same games. Give me a hand. Go. You ever shoot a gun? Not at anybody who didn't deserve it. Come here. You ever kill a cop? Hey, come on, man. Hey, relax. Just aim for his head. This isn't funny. You're scaring me. I'm just kidding. See? I thought you were a player. I'm not a killer. Yeah, neither is he. Oh, and what's that? Your professional policeman's opinion? Look, why don't you just admit it, Reggie? You didn't think this thing through. You got no plan. You're sitting here with a gun to everybody's head. You committed kidnapping, assault on a police officer. Look, who says I got no plan? Maybe I'm planning on killing this man. This man who humiliated me in front of my peers. Oh, gee, I guess I was wrong. That's a great plan, Reggie. You'll probably go down in the gangland hall of fame. You just remember one thing. You kill this guy, your life's over the minute you pull the trigger. My life was over a long time ago. Come on, man, we gotta do something. I'm open to suggestions. Why don't you give me the benefit of your many years in the field? Look, Captain, it's just that Hoffs and Hanson are our friends, all right? Look, I know that, but they're also cops, which means I care about them as much as you do. Look, before we make a move, we've got to find out what that kid wants. Once we find out what he wants, who knows? Maybe I'll have something for you guys to do. You check all these exits? Yeah. Cafeteria? Yeah. Service? All of them, all of them, as tight as a drum. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen of Grant High School, I'm sure you all know who I am. Reginald Brooks, acting principal. The Frazier Boulevard Bloods have taken over this school, and the warden, John Madigan, has been relieved of his duties. Now, see this guy right here? He's a cop. How you doing, cop? That's right, they're sending cops into the school. Cops that look like kids, cops that look like you and me. Cops that sit and eat with us, cops that go to class with us even. With students like you, we need cops on campus. Yeah. Shut up, okay? What in God's name do you want? He's got a demand. Brooks, Captain Fuller here. I'll tell you what I want. I want 20 pizzas and 20 cases of beer. And what do we get? They want to make a deal. Uh, what, what are 20 pizzas worth? Hey, how about the whole sophomore class? Those guys are a bunch of wimps anyway. Uh, sophomore class? Yeah? Sophomore class. All right, deal. But you can forget about the beer, Reggie. I want 10 with sausage, 10 with pepperonis, and no anchovies. I see one anchovy, and I kill the librarian. <laughs> now listen up! Everybody who's a sophomore, raise your hand. 
raise your hand. What are you going to do with them? Shut up! Sophomores, go home. Come on, get out of here. Scott, come on! Go, we're live. And in an interesting turn of events, the sophomore class has been released in exchange for 20 Pizzas are here. Yo, Bobby Larry, go take delivery. Hey, man, where's the money? What the heck are you talking about, great boy? I'm talking about somebody owes me $160 for all his pizzas. Hey, look, man, what's the matter with you? Come on, we're taking over here now. Ask me if I care. I'm out $160. If I don't get it, you guys go hungry. Hey, look, you give me those pies, man. Forget it. Hey, Bobby. Yo, Bobby, what the heck is going on, man? Man, come here. Give me a hand with this clown. Hey, S.A. S.A. S.A., what are you, crazy or something? Man, hand over this pizza. Come on. You might as well shoot me. Because Tony will if I come back without the dough. Get in, Come on, move! Move! I'm on the roof. Got you, Aoki. I read you here. Can you wait for me? Okay. All right, can you see the heating unit? Yes, I see it. All right, now listen up. Once inside, it's 40 west, then a hard right, and 60 more feet. And don't forget, you've got to cross the main office and come in the outer office. I got it. All right. I'll give you five minutes, and then I get Reggie on the phone. OK. This joker wants to get paid, man. Pat him down. This could be a trick. No, this dude's too thick to be a cop. Do it. Hey, man, I think what you're doing here is real depth and all, but I like to get paid. You don't get back to my truck, you know what I'm saying? Shut up and have some pizza. Yo, Reggie, what's this? What? Your SAT score is 1150. And you got an A in English. What, you got an A, man? Hey, Reggie, if you're so smart, how come you're so dumb? You know what? I'm sick and tired of you telling me I don't know what the heck I'm doing. What are you doing? Look, this has been fun and all, Reggie, but I don't plan on spending the rest of my life in this place. What do you want? Okay, Reggie, we all want to go home. What do you want? What do you got? You play ball with us, we talk to the judge, we can work something out. Just tell us what you want. Just hold on. Anybody want anything? Yeah, I want my $160. And I'd like to go to the bathroom. All right, Phil, this is what I want. I want a black Trans Am, dark interior. Compact disc sound system and a phone. Reggie, Reggie, T roof. Yeah, 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 and a T roof. The kind with the dark smoke glass, not the kind that opens automatically. And, and, and give me white pinstripes. No, no pinstripes, they look cheap. Uh, forget the pinstripes. And $1,000 cash. No, 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 wait a minute. $10,000.
in an interstate map. That's what I want, okay? Okay. All right, we get that for you. You release everybody in the school. I don't know. I'll think about that. I don't know I can trust you. You can trust me, Reggie. Oh! <laughs> you better not be another cop. much up on principles myself, that and cops. You know, I quit high school when I was in 10th grade. This man here looks like he's fading. I bet he could go for a slice of Tony's own. What do you say? Hey, man, how you doing? Want some pizza? Only 147 slices left. <laughs> you think that's funny, cop? Yeah, another cop. You're a cop? He's a cop, and that cop out there wants me to trust him? Trust him? Trust what? If he sends another freaking cop? I gotta think. I gotta think. It's all getting too complicated. What did you expect him to do, Reggie? You can't hold us here forever. You shut up, man! It was you who got us into all this. You're smarter than that, Reggie. Come on! I'm sick of you telling me how smart I am. All you adults telling me how smart I am, and then you turn around and tell me about all the dumb things I do. You're the one who's doing the dumb things, not me. But everybody shut up. I, I gotta think. Give it up, man. There's no way you can get out of this. You better hope there's a way that we all get out of this. Yo, Reggie, man, come on, chill out, bro. Leave me alone. Hey, man, cheer up. Your ride's here. Oh, look at that. That is sharp. Yeah, and it better have a phone. All right, that's our end of the deal. So what are you gonna do now? You gonna leave your little boys here to clean up after you? You're the hot shot. You ought to know that all they're gonna do is six months as youthful offenders. <coughs> See, these are my brothers. This is my blood. They do the light time, I just disappear right down the night line. What are you trying to say, man? You, you gonna leave us here, Reggie? Hey, Larry, man. Hey, you gonna be all right, man. I'm coming back for you. All right? Hey, you, come on. I ain't going with you. Yeah, you are, girl. Let's go. <laughs> now! I'll see you homeboys later. Hey, man, you can't do this. Hey, it's better this way. Even he'll tell you that. Take a look at this. She dropped it in my purse. Get down. He's got a gun. Get her out of here. He's got a husky. We have a hostage condition. We have a hostage condition. Stay in position. Do not fire your weapon. Stay in position. Do not fire your weapon. Downtown. 
tell them the suspect is heading west on Burrard, but not to move in. I repeat, do not move in. He's got one of my cops hostage. What are we gonna do? I don't know, you missed your ride. Can't believe he left us here, man. What do you think, he cares about you? He's a blood, he cares. Right. What's the deal now? We're gonna use these guys to get out of here. Right, I got him, yo, you, you guys watch our backs, okay? been to Indiana? No. You're gonna like it. Oh, I'm sure I will. Reggie, you're under arrest. I'm a police officer. You make one move and I'll blow a hole right through your head. Okay, they left the high school and were spotted turning on to Grand Traveling West. All right, that should put them just about right here. Unit 51 and 14, close in to Grand and West Havenhurst. Man, I hope she's okay. If you so desire, but cannot afford one, an attorney will be appointed to you without charge for questioning. Do you understand these rights as I have read them to you? It's about time you guys came to work. Nice going. And I guess it was just luck that we ran out of gas, huh? Yeah, well, these things get 22.5 miles to the gallon. City. You read them as rights? You're not the only good cop in this department, sir. You don't have to call me Sir Hoss. I'm not in uniform. Cops like you are always in uniform. You all right? Yeah. 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 Hey! What do you say we let them take him downtown and we go out for pizza? Just a joke? <laughs> 